is breaking one of the Ten Commandments. He shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Allah has none of those attributes. not mighty. He is definitely not wonderful. Definitely not the Prince of Peace. You can't fool me. You might fool a lot of other people, but you ain't gonna fool somebody that ran the streets a while. behead somebody for Allah, that is not a peaceful religion. That's not very nice. I also believe in the lake of fire. I believe in the lake of fire. Revelations 20 says, anyone not found written in the Lamb's book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. Today, let's just say ISIS did show up here. Started whacking people. If you died today and you stood before the one true God, maker of heaven and earth, sir, you need to hear more than anybody. You shaking your head, pot lover, Darwin lover, I refuse to eat a hamburger lover. You need the gospel because you're blind. If you died today, would you go to heaven? His teeth are shaking. Did y'all see that? My preaching makes his teeth shake up and down. I ain't joking, man. His teeth were shaking. Go check him out, man. That's like a street performer. Okay. If you die today and you stood before the one true God. The creator. The one true creator. Yes. Would you go to heaven or hellfire? Did you girls thank God for your pizza? There's still time. You haven't taken a bite. You should tell God thank you. Say, God, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my pizza. Amen. Amen. God is good. Well, I'll tell you one thing, people. Jesus said those that believe will be saved. Those that don't believe will be damned. Two kinds of people. There is no purgatory. Catholics came up with to make money. It's true, people. Hate to burst. No, I don't hate to burst your Catholic bubble. I love to burst your Catholic bubble. For that.
tell you something, people. Let me tell you something, England. You think you're so bad? The Bible says one day, every knee, everybody point to their knee. Come on. One day, every knee will bow. One day, every tongue, everybody point to your tongue. One day, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's going to happen because God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. Living on the inside. Roar! That's a wolf, sir. If you want to hear a wolf, go to Rome, Italy, and sit at the Vatican. You'll hear. It's your turn. There you go. If you want to see a wolf in sheep's clothing, go to the Vatican. Shake the Pope's hand. Antichrist. Very good wolf, sir. Yes, you can have a photo. Let me get in this. He said, no, that wasn't a good photo. Come do it again. It's fine. It's fine. Well, you, you're okay with it? All right. Don't put that on Facebook. I'm shy. God's not dead. He's surely alive. Living on the inside. Roaring like a lion. Are you singing Bon Jovi? Bon Jovi's headed for hell. No, Bon Jovi, one of the best looking men God ever created, I will say that. But John Bon Jovi thinks his good works feeding the poor is going to get him into heaven. No, it will not, Bon Jovi. I don't care if you call it the Soul Kitchen, Bon Jovi. Nobody goes to heaven through good works. Thank you for asking, Blue Phone. We get to heaven by grace. You and I are saved, not of works anyone can boast. You get to heaven through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. All right, get my new T-shirt in the photo. Did you get it? Yes, he is. Woo! Bye-bye, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucifer, fallen angel. And Katy Perry said she sold her soul to Lucy. Katy Perry said she sold her soul to the devil. She's a loser. Anybody that would give up Jesus for sex, drugs, and rock and roll and money is a loser. Let me tell you why. See, Sister Angela has to back that up with scripture. I will. Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Pop quiz, what did I just say? <laughs> See, you weren't listening. You were doing this. You're trying to get her to marry you. You're like, I really love you. I want to propose right here. Okay. If you're going to 
propose, perhaps, put your cigarette in the ashtray first. About hell. About hell. Yes, talk about hell. We're going to talk about hell, everybody gather up. About the hell. Huh? About the hell. Okay, simple question. Do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ? No. Sometimes think about him shocking <laughs> If you do not have a personal relationship with Jesus, you are headed for hell. <laughs> now you choose hell. See my t-shirt? <laughs> I'm Angela from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Nice to meet ya, wolf man. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. After that, Judgment seats. Oh, don't talk about that. Just tell them Jesus loves them. Come as you are. That's in the homo handbook. If there was a homo handbook, Jesus loves you would be a chapter. not even in the Bible, ma'am. The Bible calls it sodomy. Sodomy. Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire and brimstone. Not that that matters or anything. You know my friends right now, what they're doing? They're in Washington, D.C., where the devil lives. Well, it's just sometimes. The devil visits President Obama at least four times a year. That is a very evil man. Evil. Barack Obama is very close to being the Antichrist. Now, he has the spirit of Antichrist, but he's just downright wicked. So the Supreme Court is going to talk about Sodom and Gomorrah legalization of marriage this coming week. So my super cool friends, yo, what's up? Hang in there for Jesus. My super cool friends, including my pastor, are in Washington, D.C., standing for Jesus Christ. British, we don't give a shit. Huh? <laughs> generation doesn't give a blankety blank 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 that's why heather has two mommies you like that one because you laughed i will use it again